All right, folks, Tommy Cowett here on the lawn with you with Growing Green. It's a beautiful, cool morning here in North Carolina. I want to show you something that's really sad. This is a blood good Japanese maple. And you can see it's not very happy. You know, more than, I would say, 75% or more of it has checked out on us. But I want to show you what's causing this issue here. You have to look closely. If you could see how... This tree looks like a pin cushion. This right here, the little white, what that is, is sawdust. That's caused by the ambrosia beetle. And it has really infested this tree. And it has really taken it out quite a bit. So the tree's really died off. Now these beetles are living inside of this tree. As you can see, it does kind of look like a pin cushion. And that's sawdust. A lot of times you'll see the sawdust. The way we treat this is with your typical pyrethrin type chemical. I'm doing a basal bark treatment. We will uh, kind of soak down the bark. We might be able to save this tree, get a uh, good treatment on it. Um, but then again, it might be a little too late. So just want to go over that with you. If you do see... You know, you've got an issue with a tree. It happens a lot with Japanese maples. And you see these little white, powdery, uh, basically it's, it's sawdust being pushed out by the beetle that's living inside the tree. It's a tiny, tiny beetle. Usually when you see that sawdust, the tree's already gone. Uh, but you can see there's still some life left in this tree, so we'll treat it. Hopefully, maybe prune out the dead and see if we can't get some regrowth. It's really sad. It's a beautiful property here. And um, anyway, that's the ambrosia beetle. It's becoming a pretty big problem here in North Carolina in recent years. It was really bad last year. doesn't discriminate. I know it likes fig trees. It likes Japanese maples. Probably a lot of soft uh, bark trees, like that smooth bark trees. Anyway, Tommy Cowett signing out. Hope y'all are having a great one. Bye-bye.